Hey, what's going on, people? A bio there on YouTube to all my subscribers. Your boy Fury Six One Seven here. Oh, excuse me. Um, before I begin, Happy Super Bowl Sunday. How y'all enjoying the game so far? The halftime and the Super Bowl commercials. Oh man, the Super Bowl commercials, man. All these great movies that's coming out this summer. Captain America Civil War. You know, we got Batman vs. Superman. Independence Day. Ninja Turtles 2. Ghostbusters. Oh, jeez. I want to go so on and so on. whole lot of good shit is about to go down this year. And, yes, over the weekend marks the 25th and the first week of Street Fighter 2. Man, how do I get into Street Fighter 2? Oh, man, let me tell you this. When I was little, um, during my elementary days, um, I was looking at the, what is it? It's either Game Pro or Nintendo Power. It's one of the magazines. I was like looking through you know, uh, I've got what issue it is, but I was like looking through some stuff, and then I came across this game called Street Fighter Two, and I look like Street Fighter Two, and then um, I know uh, the screenshot that I first seen of the game was, um, yeah, 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 it was Gal versus Blanca, and then I was like look like, okay, look at this uh, funny army dude find this monster and all that. And I was curious to see what it's about this Street Fighter 2 was about. And then um, I remember one time in this neighborhood, uh, it's this you know liquor store on Detroit East Side. Um, it's like two of my friends and I, we almost walk a half a mile just to go to the store. And then we seen a uh, Street Fighter 2 arcade machine right there. And I look like, Wait a minute, that's the game that I seen in uh in, in the issue of Game Pro. So it also it, it, you know uh yeah, it was a little pack, it was a few other dudes and all that stuff. You know, they were playing the game. And then when I first put my quarter in, I didn't I did not even know what was going on and stuff. And then um I just got my ass whooped like a good 60 seconds. And then uh, I was like, look like, okay, what just happened here and all? And then my man was telling me like, hey, dude, you know, your game over. I beat you fair and square. And I look, look like, huh? And then, and then uh, I was just so confused and all that stuff. And I, didn't, I did not even knew what was going on. And then I tried again, put another quarter in, got my ass whooped again. And... During the match, I think he was using either Ken and Ryu, uh, it was one or two. And then he was out throwing fireballs like, and I asked my man like, hey dude, how you do the fireball like that? And then, back then, people wanted to tell you like, oh, I cannot tell you that, you know, you got to find out for yourself. Yeah, that's what everybody be saying back in the day, you know, when that person is good at a fighting game, and then you be asking them like, how you did this, how you did that, and that's the don't, only thing they're going to tell you. Oh, I cannot tell you that. Yeah, just like yeah, just like my man just said to me when well, I got my ass handed to. Yeah, so, um, and then also around during that time, I think that's when I first got me a Super Nintendo. Uh, and then I had some really good games in a good collection on Super Nintendo. And then when I first heard Street Fighter 2 was coming out on Super Nintendo, I looked like... Oh yeah, I found, oh yeah, Street Fighter coming out. And then I finally got the game though. And and then uh and then when I um got the game itself, and then y'all remember I think Game Pro they had like a, a big strategy book of Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Yeah, you know, which it came out that later year. So um yeah, so I like look at do some stuff and like, oh, that's how you do it. Like, okay, fireball, like down, down towards, towards, and any punch button. And then 
And and then I like looking at the Super Nintendo controller like down down towards towards. At first, you know, I was tapping the direction and then nothing came out. And then when I slide my uh, thumb, you know, from down down towards towards, and then hit the punch button, and then that's when. You know, I finally throw my foot at Duke, and man, I was so hyped in the mud, in the motherfucker. And then, um, when it comes out to the Josh characters, it, you know, John Lee, you know, it, you know, her spinning book cake, it was a Josh move back then. And, also, you know, as a matter of fact, it's still, it's still like that to this day. That and Gal, and then I, I, and then I was like looking at the magazine of Game Pro, I was like, uh, Okay, Gal Sonic Boom. Uh Josh back two seconds and then forward the ain't push button. And then what I did, I was like, Josh back I, and I count to two like one, two, and I hit forward and the punch button and then Gal through a Sonic Boom, man. I was so hyped in the mug. And then that's when I first began, you know, on fighting games and then you know, a few uh, months later, you know, I'd be going to my boy's house. You know, I'd be bringing my Street Fighter 2 over. Man, we was kidding, kicking each, other, each other's asses. Man, that's like one of the best moments when I first got into Street Fighter 2. And it's, it's amazing that the game itself is 25 years old. And anybody hardly don't remember the very first Street Fighter. And I didn't know anything about it back then, but Street Fighter 2 alone, you know, you know, you know, made Capcom, you know, what they are today. And Street Fighter 2 alone took, you know, the fighting game in the gaming world by storm. All the great characters we had, you know, from Ken and Ryu to Chung Lee to Bao, Gao, Bison, Sagat. You name it. And then um, I was so hyped, you know, soon when Super Street Fighter 2 came out. I was like looking at Game Pro, and then I seen the cover of Cammy, uh, T Hawk, DJ, and Fee Long. I look like Super Street Fighter 2. And then I look like these four new characters, like, wow. Like, and then I was like, at first, I thought they was joking at first. And then while I was like looking at, you know, to the article in the section of the game, I was so hyped up, like, oh damn, they add like four more people in the game and all. And I'm like, oh man, I was so hyped up. And to make things even hyped, it was a liquor store right by my house. It was like um I was going up there, you know, to buy me some chips and all, buy me some chips and pop, something to snack on. And then when I first walked in, I seen Super Street Fighter 2. Man, I was getting like a little girl, man. It was like, oh, man. And then I didn't care for the original 12. I was so hyped about the, the four brand new characters. And then it's like, wow. It's like, this is how amazing Street Fighter came along throughout, you know, two and a half decades. And all the great sequels that came out back to back. Uh, you know, you got the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You have uh, the Street Fighter EX series, the Street Fighter Alpha series. And then almost uh, near the end of the 90s era, we have Street Fighter 3. It's like, wow, it's like Street Fighter is like one of the greatest fine games of all time. And let me tell you a couple of my favorite Street Fighter games. Of course, you got the original Street Fighter 2 and all that stuff. Uh, I love the Street Fighter Alpha series. Uh, the Street Fighter 3, uh, Third Strike, that's another great game. One of the best ones of all. Uh, and then you had the Street Fighter EX. Um, yeah, the EX series, you know, yeah, it was okay. It was cool. And also the first, you know, Street Fighter game went 3D. And uh, yeah, that's probably be it. Those are my favorite Street Fighter games. And um, 
yes, and it's amazing that, you know, this game impacts a whole lot of great gamers till this day, from old school to the brand new generation of gamers. And Street Fighter V is coming out on the PS4 um, on, yeah, on the 16th of February, which I'm going to pick up. I put my pre-order down for the, um, the collector's edition, and I'm planning on to do a fail of me unboxing the collector's edition, you know, with the Wii U statue figure and, the, you know, the code of the DLC and the artwork and all that stuff. And, yes, oh, yeah, another thing, the compu the AI computer back then, it, they was harder than a motherfucker. It ain't like what it is right now. It's harder than a motherfucker, especially when you fight Sagat, when you get hit by two or three of the Tiger uppercuts, your ass is done. Yeah, so, and also, it was no combo system back then. And that's one thing I left out earlier. Y'all y'all remember the Game Pro magazine of the Street Fighter Strategy guy? <laughs> Not only they tell you they special moves, they tell you these ridiculous combos that nobody and their mother never pulled out yet. Especially, the, I remember this one combo. Uh, I think it was Bison's. This is like a six or seven hit. I was like, look like, what in the hell? It's like, nobody can I pull this shit off. Yeah, so, yeah, them Game Pro magazines, man, they was a motherfucker back then when it comes out to strategy guys like that. And, yeah, before I wrap this video out, um, yeah, so Street Fighter 2 is not the only game that's going to mark its 25th anniversary. A few months from now, we got to celebrate Fatal Fury, the game that gave us Terry Bogard, Andy Bogard, and Joe Gashi. And the greatest SNK villain, Geese Howard. I'm like, oh man, I can't believe that game is 25 years old, you know, now. You know, it's it's amazing that us gamers, we just sit back and sit back and think like, oh wow, like it's like it feels like it's yesterday that this game just came out. And then it's amazing that Street Fighter 2 came out in 91 and I was in elementary during that time and now this is 2016 and now we got Street Fighter 5 we're like oh wow like it's like it feel like time just fly by so fast without even knowing yeah so that's what I got to say and yeah, Capcom, I just want to say congratulations on the huge success of Street Fighter. It's like, if Street Fighter wasn't excess, we don't even know about fighting games to this day. Yeah, so that's all I got to say, people. Happy 25th anniversary, Street Fighter 2. Your boy, Physical 7. Peace out.